Those are instances where we need to do something about it. But the issue on the front of the car is when you've only got a few millimetres of travel, there isn't much you can do. And as you say, a road car like the AMG GT has good ride. Well, that's because it's actually got quite a lot of suspension travel compared to a Formula One car. However, the rear, we do have some motion to play with. You often set the rear up relatively high as you leave the garage. When you're end of straight, it's relatively low. We do that because you can lose a bit of drag. But that movement allows us to tune the ride a bit. And we may well decide to change, uh, for instance, to a softer heave spring at the rear if the driver's struggling with the ride on traction, in braking, or, or those sorts of examples. Of course, we're within all of this, within the design and within the tuning of the car, we're, we're heavily guided by regulation. If you could change one regulation to allow us to have a big impact on performance, what would it be? One of the biggest ones that you could do with Formula One cars would be um, four wheel drive. Maybe you have electric motors um, in the front wheels that would make them quick. You'd have an awful lot more traction. Um, the other thing is if you can brake wheels individually, you start to have like an anti-lock braking system, you can build a stability control system. And there you can use the braking force to turn the car. Now, both of those two things will make a huge difference to the performance of the car. Um, they're very interesting exercises for engineers.